Hey, Keller Williams Golf Side. My name is Hudson Ward. For those of you that don't know me, I wish I was there live, and yet I'm in a bold room right now. And so the amazing Madison had asked if I would do an intro video and tell you guys a little bit about my bold story. Um, she and some of your colleagues are going to talk to you about bold, so I don't need to do that part. I want to share my story. And before I do that, I want to make sure you know who I am. Um, so you got my name. I'm an agent. I still do what you do. I don't actively sell a ton personally because I spend most of my time traveling for bold. And I do run a team called the HomeWise team. And we cover essentially everything Tampa Bay South through Marco Island. We're a small expansion team. And last year with five producing agents, we closed 155 transactions for a little less than 1.5 million in GCI. So while I'm not selling all the houses personally, I'm in the industry still. I'm dealing with the ridiculousness of this market, which I feel like is schizophrenic some days. And so I'm doing what you're doing. I'm also a MAPS coach, coolest job I've ever had. I'm a former team leader. Be nice to your team leaders. It's an interesting job. Um, I own a title company. I'm a real estate investor in multiple states and I, uh, I'm married. I have six children. I live a really big, beautiful life and I'm so grateful for it. And so much of that came from Bold, which is why I'm sharing my story. And here's the reality. None of you are gonna go to Bold in October and have the exact same experience I had because that's not how experiences work. And I share this story not to be self-indulgent and at Madison's request, I share it so that you guys can see how much opportunity might be ahead of you that you didn't even realize was there, all right? So I got into the business in 2006. I've been doing this a very long time. And I was in Southern California at the time, in Long Beach, California, a yeah, very big city, uh, very high price points. And I had grown up there for the most part, went to high school there. I knew a lot of people and also an open house there at any given time have dozens of people through, not a few, right? It's just different. And so I didn't have to do very much to sell 10 to 20 houses a year. Um, normally more between 10 and 15. I only ever sold 20 in one year. And yet that was a six-figure income. For the eight years that I sold there, seven of them, I made a six-figure income. I got into real estate when I was 25 years old. You could do the math. It was awesome. Like, I, I just thought it was great. I never really treated it like a business and I never really in my head had to. I didn't have a lot of responsibilities. Y'all get that, right? You were young once. And or a lot of you are young, actually. And so then what happened is I got into a long distance relationship. Those are fun, right? And I started dating somebody who lived in Southwest Florida, actually in Fort Myers, uh, Estero, really, if you know Southwest Florida, tiny little place. And I, um, after some time with that, I made the choice like, well, let's take a risk. And I sold and shut down everything and I moved across the country. So I moved across the country at the very beginning of 2014. Now, let me tell you something. Going from a very large city to the Estero Fort Myers area is very interesting. Very small town from a very large city. And I didn't know anybody except the person I moved there for who, by the way, was a real estate agent. So it's not like I was getting all sorts of referrals because they were running a business too. So I move and Nine months or so go by and I make zero dollars. I have no income. I've spent every bit of savings that I had. I've gone into debt. By the way, it didn't take long into that relationship to realize that what I saw from a distance I hadn't seen was different from what I saw in person. So now I'm unhappy at home and yet I'm stubborn just like many of you. So I stayed, right? I'm unhappy at home. I'm not making any money. I'm in debt. It's, it's bad. And Bold was coming. And honestly, out of desperation, I said, okay, well, I'll do that. I'll go to Bold. So that's what I did. Um, I went to Bold. I put it on a credit card because I had no money. And it was probably the only credit card that had any balance left on it. Uh, and it was amazing. And I don't even think that I took it at 100% because it was so overwhelming in the first time. And yet I did what I could. And I created some deals and seven of them closed by the end of the year. So in the last two months, because it was an October bold like yours will be, in the last two months, I closed seven deals. Okay, that was everything to me. Now, seven deals was like two or three deals in California, and it didn't matter. I had some income and I didn't have to go get a job that I probably would have been fired from because I was unemployable after eight years of being self-employed. I had a really powerful realization after that first bold, and I'm so grateful that I had it. And what I realized was that while the material was amazing and the coach was amazing and all of it was amazing, so much of why I performed at a high level was the environment of it. 
you know, I, I can easily liken it to this. Like, let's say it's, you know, December, you're not feeling great about the way that you look and feel, and you decide you're going to get fit, right? And so you join a gym because it's New Year's resolution time. Now, you can join the gym, and we all know what may or may not happen when we just join the gym, or you can join the gym and hire a trainer. You're going to get a better result if you hire the trainer. The, the trainer knows better what you should be doing. The trainer provides accountability. The trainer helps you repeat over and over again so it becomes a habit, right? Bold is the same way. So I decided to go back. And eventually what happened is I just kept going back. And in a five-year span, I went 15 times. And while I know to most people that would sound over the top and ridiculous, my results were over the top and ridiculous. And I'm grateful that I did it. So I told you I'd never sold more than 20 homes in California. I sold seven in 2014. Whew. Uh, by 2017, I closed 111 transactions that year in one year with an assistant, um, made more money than I had ever made in my life and loved every minute of it. By 2019, which was my fifth year in that five year journey, that year I became a coach uh, somewhere in the middle there. I also got out of that very unhealthy relationship, met somebody better. 2019 is also when I got married to that person. 2019 is the first year that I earned seven figures for the first time. Well, First, first, y'all got it. Seven figures for the first time. And, and I shared that with you. You should also know that I don't have a college degree. High school diploma is the extent of my higher education. And I come from a lower middle class family. I, I live a life today that it just continues to boggle my mind that this guy that just finished high school and went off into the workforce who never really had any drive, never really thought that he would do anything other than just get by, that I lived this crazy, crazy life. Like, we're building wealth. We enjoy. I don't work nights and weekends, even though I have multiple jobs. Like, we've built into this amazing, beautiful thing. We support six children. And, and all of that came from being in the bold environment over and over again and not letting outside forces tell me that I was going to live an average life. And, and I think that, and, and Madison will talk about this a little bit more. Here's what I want to leave you with. First of all, you can do anything you want and you can be anyone who you want. Your past doesn't matter and your present, frankly, doesn't matter either. What you do today matters. That's it. What you do tomorrow matters. The choices that you make today create your tomorrows. And so all of you are going to be faced with the decision later in this meeting as to whether you join us for bold or not. And I'm going to ask that you stop listening to all the outside stories, all the stories that you've heard so many times that you started to believe them about who you are, what you are, what you can have. And I'm going to ask that you put yourself out there and go for the bigger, better life. It's really fun on the other side of average, and you deserve it. So come join us for bold. Listen to what people have to say today. Listen to what Madison has to say today. Trust your gut and your heart and go build the life that you deserve and that you've dreamt of and never said out loud. I appreciate you. I'm happy to chat with any of you separately and have a beautiful rest of your meeting.